Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. having a great day, Laura. Thank you so very much for joining us. Oh, thrilled to be back with you. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you. You know such great things. Tell me what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> so, you know what, Valder? Today is all about spring is just around the corner, and it's time to get some spring training ideas under your belt to uh, feel fit and fabulous and have some fun this springtime season. Take advantage of the extra daylight out there uh, and just some smart tips I can offer you to uh, be sure you're being safe about it. Laura DeAngelis is here to help us to feel and fit and fabulous and fun for spring. I do. I did, got my first uh, late walk-in yesterday because of right. daylight saving time. Oh, yeah. So it, it, it's a way to kind of make that hour, I think, valuable. So what do you know Absolutely. that we need to know? Absolutely. And you, you, you jumped right on that, Valder. Like I said, it's a time we go out of the darkness into the light and get that walk in, walk the dog longer, whatever it might be. It's a great motivator. But all I want to mention is you just have to say easy does it sometimes. You know, look, it's kind of a natural thing. We tend to hibernate just a little bit in the winter. Maybe you sat on the couch instead of went to the gym and it's okay. You know, don't sweat it, shake it off. But right now it's, it's good to remember the fundamentals. So whether you're walking more, maybe you're playing basketball with friends in the park, you signed up for a boot camp class, just remember you want to warm up before your activities get started. You do want to stretch your muscles, particularly after the activity when your muscles are warm, stay hydrated and whatever activity you're doing, don't forget to focus a little bit on your core, okay? I'm talking about getting some crunches and some planks in, some basic exercises. But again, your core is the center of gravity for your body. You want to make sure you keep that strong so you're moving more efficiently, hopefully preventing some injuries. And little by little, you're going to build the stamina, strength, and endurance and just feel fabulous for the spring. Okay, so we do know there's three things you got to do, I believe. You got to breathe, you got to eat, you got to move. Love it. Okay? Yes. And it's so, so important. Okay, so how do, how do we eat? Do you have any tips for eating better? Because winter food is a little bit different than when the weather warms up. <laughs> You're right. We, we like our comfort foods in the winter, myself included. But, you know, Valdo, you bring up a good point because if you ask my family or friends, they will tell you they know I am a firm believer. You should not deny yourself the things that you enjoy, okay? I mean, life's too short for that. So the key is to remember to enjoy them in moderation. Just make some smart decisions on portion sizes. So for me, that means everything's on the menu from the chocolate to the french fries. And, and yes, I said french fries. And the good news about that is there's a smarter french fry out there for you, Valder. Um, it is the Alexia Smart Classics Fries and Potatoes. They're roasted, they are never fried, okay? So they're 98% fat free. They're made with US grown Yukon select potatoes with a touch of sea salt. They taste really yummy and they're only 100 calories per serving. So no guilt at 100 calories per serving as a side dish for dinner or maybe even a snack if you wanna treat yourself during the day. And if you're craving something crunchy, Valder, which can be a little bit of a craving for people and extra savory, they also have these crispy rosemary fries with sea salt. Again, they have the skin on them, so they have that crunch to them, great seasonings. Um, again, a non-guilty way to have a little indulgence, all natural ingredients, non-GMO certified. And here's an extra tip. Instead of the ketchup, swap it out for something like a yogurt dill dip. Okay, it's protein packed because you're using yogurt and some cottage cheese. You got flavor in there with bell peppers and dill. So a really yummy alternative to kind of the the standby of the ketchup. And uh, there's other recipe ideas like this dip at alexiafoods.com. 
See, I wasn't hungry till I talked to you. It's so <laughs> delicious. They're good. And, they're you know, good. we miss crunch. <laughs> yes, crunching we is good. Yes. Well, we're coming out of the cold and flu season. Anything there to help people? Because, you know, it's still cold and flu season. You know, Valder, it is. I mean, here in New York City, I feel like everyone I run into is sneezing or coughing. And the change of seasons, I, I don't know, I guess it messes with your system a little bit. So the key is you want to nip the cold in the bud as soon as you start feeling under the weather. And, you know, for that... I got to tell you, I have to thank my mom because she turned me on to the wonders of coldies a long time ago. Um, as long as I can remember, she's carried the classic cherry lozenges in her purse. I carry them too now. And there's a good reason for it. Um, they're clinically proven to shorten the duration of your common cold by almost half. And another thing is, aside from being a... Uh, you know, mom approved, or at least by my mom, they're also the number one pharmacist recommended brand as well. So keep some of those around. You may also want to keep the multi-symptom quick melts around for relief of cold and flu symptoms like a cough and chest congestion and a sore throat. Again, take them as soon as you start to feel under the weather, shorten the duration of what's going on and get back out in the action, your fitness, your fun, and all the springtime activities as quickly as possible. Oh, Lord DeAngelis, we're turning out to be our moms anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's no doubt on that. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. You yes. gave us some great information. Once again, would you give us those websites so people can find out more for themselves? Absolutely. You can find out about these products at videopump.tv, and you can always find tips on my blog at lauralovesfitness.com. Laura does love fitness, and yes. thank you for being my fitness guru for today, Laura DeAngelis. Thanks for having me, Valder. Take care.